Hello everyone. So today I plan to showcase how you can create a, a prototype to authenticate a user, uh, providing a list of username and passwords and matching uh, the entered username and password with that specific list. So the plan is to show something similar to this and where uh, any user can provide the incorrect username or password then they will unable to log in or get to the second screen whereas you, if required you can pop up a screen as well for now the target is only to uh, use the correct username password and get to the second screen so now if I use the correct username password so I get to the next screen so let us start working on it so let me create a new screen i will just name it as login and i'm just using standard template for now nothing uh, i have not created any new templates and meanwhile in data masters i have created a let me just delete this one or I will create a new one. So, uh, user authentication. So, I created a new data table and created two fields as username and password. Both the fields are text, so I kept it as text for now. And I will just say OK and now just create few entries into it. So I will create say for example admin, password is admin, user1, user1, user2, user2. So this is done. Now we will design our screen. So the first thing I will do is, is to create a rectangle so that I can have a different color, a rectangle and create a background color, maybe something like solid color. I'm just using this color. For now, the target is to uh, create a design uh, uh, to uh, target, uh, to look into the username and password entry. And I have created already created some widget with simple data image. You can create any enter any image or anything inside the widget. So this is my widget. So I want to update it based on the size. So if I make any changes to one side of it, the other side should change by itself based on the aspect ratio. So I will log the aspect ratio. If you do not log the aspect ratio, then you have to decide what should be the width and the height. For now, I will just lock it and say 100. So the aspect ratio takes care of the proportion and the size is created. Then I will just take evolving log logo. So this is fine if you want to create the expect ratio for this as well, maybe 280. So this is done. Now we need a username password. So one way is you can uh, create interactive input text field drag and drop or the other way can be uh, just select this and just drop it here done and now you can change the design of it so as i will be doing it so i'll be 
changing I'll just increase the size so that everyone can see so I will just change the font to comic sense bold the same for here comic sense bold so whoever enters in the screen so even they should have the same comic sense but I will leave it no nothing no need to do it bold and the font size is this one so I will leave that as it is and now uh, this looks quite uh, okay let me first create a button so I'll create a button and say login again mark it as comic sense bold change the background background color maybe something like a solid color uh, blue no this is not great or maybe purple yeah this looks fine hopefully and I will leave the border as it is uh, for now the round I will just try to have some round area around it so now it looks a, a bit round here this is fine and I want to make it look like a 3d so I will just edit the shadow I will just uh, 3d for the box not for the text so the angles are defined how what is should be the angle of the shadow and what should be the distance of the shadow and how blur it should look I have made it default for now I have kept it the color of the, uh, of the shadow I have kept it as it is you can make changes to the uh, shadow colors as well so uh, looks like it didn't work sorry okay so here you can see uh, I want to do same thing for the text a little bit uh, if I remove the border I'll remove the border now I will just add some shadow okay I have just selected both using shift so that both can be done together instead of one so both have been done together now so now it looks a bit 3D. You can ch make changes as per your requirement. So this is done. Now another thing I have to do, this is the text fill, but this is the password fill. So that users would not be able to see, I make it a password fill in the type, in the properties. So this is done. Now few things that needs to be taken care of when we uh, create events. So it is always good to, um, to put a name to define a name for each of the inputs or which the ones that you are going to use or make changes so I come to layer so if you can see this is a group this username password is one single group and inside this group this fields are there whereas button and other parts are not part of the group you can create if you want that might be part of another lesson so what we want to do is to make sure that we know what exactly is this so this is input one so this is the username so I create a username but together with that I say it is a text input so that it is easier to identify and th this one is text input password <coughs> so that I know okay now so this is done so the design is done for our basic design is done now the plan is uh, user should be able to log in once they click login and should be able to go to the next screen so my next screen which I have already created is the welcome screen which I have just taken a rectangle in the similar manner col colored it and one text this is the text input so welcome to simple data now what I need to do is one way to create and I will just select a login button add event say choose trigger on tap since it is android or uh, phone it is tap if it is a browser there will be click 
or mouse so on tap navigate to welcome screen okay so this does the job the other way is if I delete again the other way is I just drag this login to this welcome so this is also created so any of the option is fine so if I run this now so I got this one admin I just for now I, for now anything should be fine because we have not uh, created an event for logic so say admin for now and create login so you got get to the next screen so we have just for now created an event to click to the button and go to the next screen so irrespective of you add or not the username it will go to the next screen now let us go again there now get to the add condition field I clicked it now we have to create the complete logic out here so what is the logic the logic is simple we want to make sure there is a data ma masters user authentication so there is a username password so this username this password should match with this username and this password so that is what we need to do so we need to check if there is even one entry in this table which matches with the username and password entered by the subscriber or user so th this is the uh, data master table so we need to find at least one entry so we have to filter this complete uh, table to get one single entry of that username and password so there should be at least one so what we do is first we, we know that the count should be one so we just take one count so the count should be one okay so what we do equals to just drag and drop equals to and the value should be one whatever the logic we put the value should be one the count of that now we need to filter the user authentication table to get at least one data master entry so there is a filter x filter e function here so we just get the filter function and drop it on that circle so we got a filter function so filter function from our data master and the logic so what is what is the data master here the user authentication just click and go there and what is the logic the logic logic is this username should be equal to the this username and the password should be equal to this password so what we do is now there is an requirement so username of this is equal to username of this and username of this equal to username of sorry password of this is equal to password of that so there is an end requirement and so here username we will check here we will check the password so equal to for the username and equal to for the password so what you so what you have to do username here password here now this should be the screen one so the username password so where we go we go you, you can drag and drop from here as well but a lot of times it creates a problem i will suggest go there we have already named it text input username take it go there text input password go there done so this is the complete logic that has been created now you just save it okay you are set to go save it run it again so last time we create without an any entry we were able to go to the next page and now if i tap it nothing nothing is happening now if i add admin and maybe password one two three let's see login nothing is happening now enter admin again it has gone to the second page another username was user1 I will just insert user1 login went to the second page if I change if user2 was there user2 say if I put it user3 here 
nothing is happening. If I change it to user2, login, done. So this is a very simple method to create your own authentication page out here. Thanks.